When I have one of the most amazing vocations in Dragon's Dogma 2, well, not only are you going to have amazing offensive, but overall, you're going to have range. You're going to carry a large array of element power. We're talking about fire, lightning, ice, holy, dark, whatever you want. This class is going to bring it and this is going to be the magic archer this is going to be a hybrid class that you're going to be able to unlock once you advance during the game after you unlock all the different classes first and then you're going to move into the advanced classes and then into the hybrid now what makes this magic archer stand out one of the things is of course it comes with a array of different elements of damage like i mentioned fire lightning holy whatever it comes with it on top of this it has a even longer range than its base archer which makes it even better of course you got to unlock it as you progress through the game now what makes this class good is that you are able to have this as your main class and you if you are able to pair it up well let's just say the fighter or the warrior then you are going to be very potent as you are going through the different type of quests and different bosses that you're going to be taking down now as you are progressing to the game the stats are going to grow in this magic archer however the more attributes are going to be looking more like is going to be as a magic rather than an archer however your stamina and your health is going to go high but your defense is going to be low so you're going to need to be careful on how you approach with this class now one of the disadvantages that this class has it does have a lower survivability so you're going to be really easy to be taken down you're also going to have very limited on the different tools that you're going to have at your disposal and i believe the biggest weakness of this class has to be the charge attacks that it requires to be able to strike any enemy so pretty much all the different type of arrows that you're about to throw with the different type of elementals are going to take some time but they're going to do a lot of damage but that is the biggest weakness that it has now some of the good pros that it has it has a very long and high range on different targets you're going to be able to target different enemies at the same time it has a dynamic single in multiple target system that makes it very easy to take down you're also as a supportive class you're going to be able to heal your pawns or your your buddies very easily from long range you don't have to be really close and heal them back all you have to do is just throw an arrow at them and they're going to be brought back to life or you're going to be able to heal them really easy now that we took care of how this class is going to be what are the goods and the bads? Let's take a look at different weapon skills, the different core skills, and on top of these, the augments. Now, if you got tired of the archer, that's why you got the magic archer. Even though you're going to be more of a magic than an archer, you come with a lot of different weapon skills. We're talking about the first one, Frost Secret Bolt. This is an ice element. Fires a bolt of magical ice and pursues whole styles targets them and also it just does frostbite damage the next one is the Aradian orb which is going to be a fire element fires an orb of searching flame that illuminates the area and may cause targets within to catch fire the ricochet seeker it is a lightning elemental power it what it does is loses a magical arrow that flies widely about increase in power and ricochets off walls so you're going to be able to see a bunch of arrows going really crazy but all of those arrows are going to be able to do a lot of damage that's why this weapon skill is going to be one of a lot of you guys's favorite because you're going to have so many arrows going at once. The sedative bolt, this one is going to fire a magical bolt that adds to the target. Its sleep value on the impact amount added increases to a longer the bolt is charged. As I mentioned before, the more you charge your bolt, the more damage you're going to be able to do flame fang arrow fires an arrow of magical flame 
that explodes an impact can control the arrow's trajectory after it is loose. So that is an advantage, especially the archer it does not have this, but the magical one does. You're able to do some magic there and just make sure that arrow just hits wherever you want. The Hellstone Bolt. This is the ice elemental power. This is going to fire a clump of ice that grows in size. The longer you're able to charge it, the stronger the strike is going to be. Sparching Stake Lightning Elemental. This one loses a stake of imbued with magical lightning, which is going to pierce a, any enemy's target on the ground. It, what also is going to do is once it hits the ground, it's going to crack in different bolts. So anything that is around that vicinity is going to take damage. And here is one of the most OP powers that this class has and it's the remedy arrow this is going to be a holy damage so what is going to do is two things one if you are able to charge this you're going to be able to revive any pawn and the opposite goes is if you just let it go and you don't charge it what it's going to do is go is going to charge the health of any pawn that is able to strike charge it up you revive the person and let it loose, you're just going to give them health to be able to keep going. Vim taking arrow, this one is going to be a dark elemental. Ha <laughs> ha. It's going to lose an arrow hex with a magic that saps the health of any enemy that you're able to shoot. And what it's going to do is the more target it hits, the more health it will be able you will be able to recover. So that is a very nice weapon skill that you're going to be able to unlock. Now, if you want a really good ice elemental one, it is the Frost Hunter Bolt. This is going to be an advanced form of the Frost Seeker Bolt that extends the effect of the duration. Now, if you want even more advanced weapon skills, we're talking about the Condensant Orb which is going to be a fire, which is going to be the one that improves on the radiant orb, which is going to extend the effect. The ricochet hunter, it is a lightning, it's just going to extend the effect in the recovery arrow, which is also an advanced uh, weapon skill that is going to also require less charge time to be able to recover your friends. So overall, those are the different weapon skills. And let me know in the comment section below, would you rather go magic archer or magic spearhand? Let me know which of those two you rather pick. Now the magic archer also has some nice score skills and those are going to be the following. Quick fire, just what it says, it's gonna do a light attack you're going to be able to throw that bolt really fast. Conversion. This is going to be like a heavy attack. The pinpoint volley, which is you're going to be able to switch to multiple target mode. Rivet shot. You're going to switch to a single mode. The climatic arrow. This is going to increase the harm inflicted with a pinpoint volley. And what is the pinpoint volley? You're able to target multiple at the same time. So if you use this with in combination of that, you're going to pretty much just destroy anything. Then we got the escopic sight. This is going to extend the lock on the range when using the pinpoint volley or the river shot, meaning the single or the multiple. So you're going to be able to improve on that. If you want to have better tracking, nothing like the tracker sight, this is going to increase the maximum number of lock on targets when using the pinpoint volley or the river shot. So you're going to be able to take care of a bunch at the same time. And the last one, it is going to be the protective arrow. This is going to be able to deploy fire ice or lightning weapon skills oh so you rather choose whatever elemental you want to do as again you can let it go easy or you can be able to do the pinpoint valley or the single shot which is going to give you all those different options of course this is probably gonna be one of the core skills that you're going to be able to unlock further in the game rather than 
early in the game. And then we got a couple of, of the augments that you're going to be able to use. One is the sustainment. This one augment is going to do a physical defense, a magic defense of pawns that are in your party. The veracity, this is going to recover a small amount of stamina when you are able to deliver killing blows to any target and then you got prolificity ascendancy and also amelioration damn those words are hard to say so overall you are able to see the different type of weapon skills and then you got the core skills and of course you got the augments overall this class is amazing where do i rank this this is probably gonna be probably a top four maybe top five class because it not only are you able to provide amazing support Port class but at the same time you are a reckless offensive machine because with all those different weapon skills that you have at your disposal you're going to do a lot of damage so let me know in the comment section below is this the class that you're going to choose once you unlock it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more dragon's dogma and we'll see you on the next video